this is just a quick video to show you the advantages of using audio units v3 within beatmaker 3 pretty much that allows you to have uh, more access to the instrument than you would a typical inner app audio you actually would stay within the beat maker 3 audio uh, audio interface and layout and can trigger pretty much the entire uh, program within beatmaker 3 so I'm gonna choose beat Hawk I'm gonna click on that icon now what you see here is the entire interface these are the pads. They represent different samples within BeatMaker 3. I'm triggering the pads right now. Now I can also trigger my MIDI keyboard. And they're mapped to the pads automatically within BeatHawk. I also have the ability to select the sample. And then it's a, a keyboard if you notice. I could actually go to that keyboard up top and trigger that sample at different pitches using my MIDI keyboard. I also have the ability to add effects onto that pad if I wanted to. And pretty much you could do that to each individual pad if you want. Uh, the keys that have the keyboard attached to them are able to be triggered ton ton uh, tonally and the ones that have the, the waveform are just samples. We also have the ability to load samples that are within uh, Beehawk onto samples uh, onto pads. So let's choose Brazil. Basaka sip Brazil. And let's shoot the sample. You can also aud audition the samples. So we like that one. And we're gonna load it in to that pad right there. Also, mind you, you can also switch which which pad you want to load the samples onto by clicking on the to the pad icon. I'm gonna load another sample onto that one. And I'm gonna choose a kick from Latin per Percussion just to show you what else you could do in depth. So I'm gonna choose a percussion kick and you see there's a keyboard. So what that represents pretty much is that that's an entire kick loaded onto that one sample, uh, onto that one pad. After hit load, now it's onto that pad that I showed you. Now we click on the X and now I'm just using a MIDI keyboard to trigger it right now. But if I go to the keyboard within uh, Beehawk, that's an entire kick right there on that one pad. Again, I can add effects to that entire kit if I wanted to. I could also point out I can record my own uh, samples within Beehawk as well. And uh, yeah, that's just a quick overview of what you can do within Beatmaker 3 using Beehawk. If you want to and if you have any questions, just feel free to hit me up and I'll get back to you. Thanks.